as brother Matt was speaking, I didn't count how many times he said look, but I just kept on say, thinking about this. We're, we have much to look forward to. We have much to look to mm -hmm. as we're striving here. So I, I was thinking as to exhort you, brethren, to be good lookers, to be able to, to look. Look at what the, the Lord has done. Look what he's doing. Look at what he's going to do. Because we, I mean, we know the fact is that this world is going to pass away. We know this. You know, it is a, a great work that Satan has done to get people not to realize that every, I know they realize this. Everybody knows people are going to, once they are born, they're going to die. So this is a fact you can't get away with, but they're not talking about it. They've blocked it out. At the, the, it's the present time for them. Whatever they're doing right here and now, that's what, but that's not us, brethren. Our present time, we know it's going to pass away, and we don't have to be consumed by, by the troubles and trials that we go through. This is what Brother uh, Matt was talking about when he's talking about to, to think about who, who you are and who you're going to be when he's talking about Brother uh, Robert being a judge. You see, you, that's what he, this, God has got work for us to do, and it's no small work. I mean, it's, it's very clear in, in the scriptures how abundant our God is. He's not going to change once we get to glory. He's not going to become a small. He said, well, I don't really have much work for you to do here. I remember Brother Ricky, he came to work one day, and he said, well, we don't really have anything for you to do. You want to go over? They sent him someplace else to go work. That's not how our God is. We're not going to get to glory. And say, I ran out of work to do. After the after I made the, the heavens and earth and air, I just I just I just ran out of ran out of uh, imagination, ran out of creativity. Our God is a creative God. Yes, amen. He's not stopping. This is only the beginning of what He has for us. This is only our beginning, brethren. What he's doing, and, and this is another thought that came to me, is what you're doing now is preparing you for a greater work mm -hmm. in glory. So whenever you go through a trial, you can look at this trial as, this, this, has, to, this has to do with what he's going to be doing with me in heaven. He's got some kind of a work for me in glory that this trial pertains to. Yeah. And I can't see it right now, but I'm going to look forward to it. I'm looking forward to how this trial is going to fit into what the, the work that he has for me. Amen. This is a great trial I'm going through. He must have a great work for me to do in glory. Amen. He's preparing me to do something that is out of the ordinary. Because my trial here, and we can look through it. I, I'm talking about the brother in the whole, not just one individual. I'm talking about the whole, all of the brethren. Yeah. The brethren have gone through heavy trials. When you talk about crucifixion, you're talking about and, and being thrown out and, the, and be, their name has been, been they've said, well, like Brother Gibbon was just talking about, he said, boy, the, he's extreme. He's, and then people believe this. Oh, really? Huh? And they never heard a word he said, but the, whoa, that, that guy's extreme. Really? What's extreme about him? I don't know, but I heard he was extreme. See, but this hurts the brethren. Yeah. You know, do you think that doesn't affect Christ when you talk about his? This is what, when he, remember he talked to Paul? He said, why do ye persecute me? Mm -hmm. How, whoa, whoa that, how, where'd that come from? Mm -hmm. Because when you hurt his people in a whole, see, we're not individuals with this. See, this is why we look at our brother when he does well, we rejoice. When a brother do doesn't do well, we cry with them. Why? Because we're a whole. Yeah. See, when, they, when you persecute any of the brethren, you are persecuting Christ Jesus. Amen. When you're being persecuted, you're not alone. Christ is in it with you. Yeah. Whatever you're going through, Christ is in it with you. When you're being hurt, you can, you can overcome. You can get, you can get through that by, by knowing that Christ is there with you. You're not in, the, in this on your own. You're, 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 you're together with Christ Jesus. He, he hasn't left you alone. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to His abundant mercy hath begotten us into a lively hope 
by the resurrection of our Jesus Christ from the dead. Who else is raising people up from the dead but Jesus Christ? Who else is working through those who are, are hurt and afflicted and strengthening them and bringing them alive? But Jesus Christ. Nobody else, no other religion in the world can say that they're, gonna, they're raising people from the dead. No other re religion in the world is, can say that they're preparing their people for glory. They can't say it. Because without Christ Jesus, without the true, like Brother Matt said, without the true Christ Jesus, nothing's being done. We're not talking about the fake Jesus that people make up, that the one that they say, well, I like the Jesus who, uh, he's, a, he's a happy Jesus, and he loves everybody, and it doesn't matter if they're rolling in, in the mud with the, the dogs and picking up fleas with the ungodly. That, this is the kind of Jesus I love. Well, that's not the true Jesus. The real Jesus is preparing his people for glory. The real Jesus is, is, is getting people ready to fit. The real Jesus is giving out mercy so that when you get to glory, you can hear, well done. Amen. Good and faithful servant. You can't hear that unless you've been separated from your sin. Because as Brother Matt, so, so eloquent, not as eloquent as I speak, but he very well brought this out, that this debt must be paid for. Yeah. Amen. That God, you cannot get before the God of the universe, a holy and righteous God, and say, you know, I really have nothing to offer you but my sin. And he's not going to say, yeah, come on in. No, you have, that debt has to be paid for before you get there. And if it's not paid for, you're not getting in. Like Brother Matt said, there's no seven-year waiting period where you say, well, we're, we're just going to wait a little while. It's all going to go away. It never goes away without Christ. Amen. It, it had to be paid for. And in Christ Jesus, it was paid for. Amen. So I'm thankful for this, brother. I'm thankful for you, Brother Matt, for being faithful in your labors and that you live a righteous and holy life that you can build up the saints. Amen. Any brother have anything to... Brother Judah? This, this world is a blessing from God, so 